Okay, Boss Dog here from Boss Dog Coin Rings, and today we're gonna make a gem of a coin ring. I've got a one ounce, 0.999% pure copper round, and it's a Mayan calendar. Mayan calendar with all of the, the Mayan calendar pictures around the outside of the ring. When I fold this over, this is gonna be the outside of the ring and I'm gonna put an antique finish on it, bring out all the detail. It's gonna look absolutely gorgeous. Here's what it looks like up close. Mayan calendar. We're gonna knock a five inch inch hole in the middle of it. That's gonna be all of the Mayan calendar symbols are gonna be on the outside of the ring with an antique finish. And I'm gonna put a little Renaissance wax on it. It's gonna look absolutely gorgeous. It's gonna be a gem of a ring. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a hole in this. We're gonna cut a five eighths inch hole in this. And I'm not I'm not, I'm not gonna do that on camera. I've got a, a video, I've got videos posted of how to cut holes and coin rings. So we're gonna do that and I'll get right back to you. Okay, we've got our hole, cut in the, our hole cut on the coin right there. There's a little insert that popped out of it. I've already sanded and cleaned off the edges there so there's no sharp edges. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this sit because this copper is a lot harder than silver, a lot harder than silver. I'm gonna use a six ton Harbor Freight press to do all my folding. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna I'm just going to do an initial fold, uh, put, the, put the, the, the part that's going to go on the outside of the ring down on the folding die. And I'm going to make one little, a little beginner's type fold over here with this little, it's a starting, it's a starting cone right here. This is what starts in, put that right there. We're going to make our initial fold here. Make sure it's straight in there. Okay, that's our initial fold. That's what it looks like. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it to the heat. I'm gonna heat it up. I'm gonna kneel this, make it a lot softer so I can, so I can work with it. Come over here. Heat it up a little bit. With copper, you don't have to worry about melting it so much as you do silver. So I'm gonna get it a nice cherry red. Nice cherry red. I'm gonna soften it up. Soften it up and make it more pliable so it's easy to fold. I'm going to go quench it, dip it in some cold water. Okay, I just quenched it. I like that. Well, I'm going to check now. I'm going to check to make sure there's no, no sharp edges on here. Take a piece of sandpaper, roll on the inside of it. Just to make sure there are no sharp edges there. We don't want it splitting on us. Oh, it's going to be a beauty. Okay. Take a look here. Edges, so we're gonna we're gonna continue folding this right on down here. Okay. 
Make sure it's straight in there. the one ton arbor press it seems to be a harbor freight press here it seems to be working okay. so pull that right on down. okay I can feel it get work hardened a little bit so we're gonna get one more press out of this here Now, so we're going to take it back to the heat. As you can see, it's starting to look like a ring. Right now, we're folding it. Then, after we fold it, we're going to shape it. After we shape it, we're going to size it. And after we get it sized, then we're going to polish it and work on the detail of it. So right now we're shaping it into a ring. I'm folding it, and then we're gonna do some shaping. You know, heat it up a little bit here. quenched that's what it's looking like right so far okay I'm gonna check to make sure there's no cracks in it no cracks nothing look like it's gonna split okay let's pull it right down here let's do some more folding here straight okay you can tell when it's folded when it's, the ring folds right up next to the folding mandrel, uh, it looks like it go just a little bit more. So I'm just gonna, whoops. We're gonna fold it down just a little bit more, just a little bit more. Okay, here's the fold folding process. It's starting to look like a ring. I'm going to put it on the stretcher and see if we can stretch it down a little bit. We're going to try to stretch it down just a little bit here. Okay, now we've stretched it out. 
as far as we can on the ring stretcher. We're looking for a size 11 right now. We don't care what it is. Right now it's a looking at a size 16. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put it in a Swedish wrap and we're gonna reduce it even more. We're gonna reduce it even more to Swedish wrap right here. So I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna kneel it one more time here before we run it through the Swedish wrap. Kneel it one more time. It's starting to look like a ring. Right now we're shaping it. Okay. Now we're going to wrap it with monster tape. I like to use monster tape. I don't want to lose any of that detail. Those Mayan calendar icons. I don't want to lose any of that detail. So I'm going to wrap it with what, the, what I, use, I use monster tape. Some people use Harbor Freight silicone tape. I myself like this monster tape. Silicone, that, that silicone tape, you have to wrap it 15 to 25 times with this monster tape. I'm only gonna wrap it like six, seven times, maybe. Okay, that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like here. Let's get a little bit closer here. Okay. Right. Put it in the Swedish wrap. there so I'm going to turn it over now the first time I do it this tapes going to come off so in order to in order to preserve the reeded edge of that you want to preserve the reeded edge of that I'm going to use makeup wipes these round makeup wipes so I'm going to put it inside there to protect the reeded part of that ring so that's going in there to protect the reeded part of the ring so put that in there like that what it's looking like now what I want to do is you see how the detail is starting to come through the tape I'm going to keep pushing it down until I can see all that detail through the tape there as you can see it's starting to look more and more like a ring okay okay be careful I don't want to push this out the bottom I don't want to push it out the bottom so I got about another quarter of an inch to go here I don't want to push it all the way out the bottom I do not want to do that that will ruin the ring so we're just gonna push it down until we get almost to the bottom like right there and we'll go to a smaller Swedish wrap smaller Swedish wrap here look in the ring it's looking really nice that detail starting to come through there. Oh, 
Okay. We want to make a size 11 here. We want to make a size 11, so I'm going to take it down to a 10 and a half because once I push this ring down through here, there's going to be a big build up, a ridge right here that I'm going to take out with a deburring tool to make it so it's a nice, smooth, comfortable fit. So we're just going to do this just a little bit more here, not much. Not much more. Starting to shape up pretty nice like a ring. Look at there, uh huh. Take it over with the stretcher. Okay, put it on the ring stretcher a little bit here. Still has, a, still has a little bit of a bow in it. I'm trying to take the bow out of the ring. There's a little bow, right? You can see the bow in there. I'm going to take that bow out of there. Kneel it up here, put it on the stretcher. Oh, it's looking beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, take it over here, quenching it, quenching it. Gotta put it on the ring stretcher over here. Take out the rest of the bow with the ring stretcher. Beautiful. Look at that there. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Probably be the last time we have to put some heat to it. Now we're gonna now we're gonna size it. We're gonna make we got a shape to it. We got a shape to it. Now we're gonna size it. We're looking for a size 11. Probably be the last time we have to anneal this. shape it we're gonna find a die here Let me shape this ring in okay okay we're still gonna to try to protect the detail here wrap it in Teflon tape this time we're just gonna push the end of it down we're not running it through the Swedish wrap I'm just gonna run this edge down through the die make the ring we're trying to make the ring so cylindrical to make it look like a ring okay uh. 
and we're gonna make it so we're gonna size it right now we're gonna make it look like a size 11 Okay, that should be it. Okay, there it is. Perfect cylindrical cylinder look of a ring. Look how pretty that is. Nice cylinder shape to it. Nice cylindrical shape to it. Okay. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna take a deburring tool and I'm gonna smooth out that edge right in there with a deburring tool so it's a nice comfortable fit. And as soon as I do that, I'll bring you right back in. Okay. We're back. What I did, all I did was I polished, a, I took out a, a deburring tool. I took a deburring tool and I deburred the inside of that so it makes for a nice, comfortable fit. You see, I, then I polished, I shined it. I mean, I sanded it, sanded all the marks off of it. And I sanded the cut edge so the cut edge looks real nice. And then I, I just took a rag and I polished it a little bit. So that's that's what it looks like. That's that's size shaped, sanded. All the all the sanding marks and the cut marks are off of it. Absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, or as you cannot see, those those Aztec calendar emblems with a highly polished look to it, it's hard to see. It's hard to see. Let's see, Let's see if I can get the focus a little bit here. There we go. Look how nice that ring is. Absolutely gorgeous, okay? I'm going to be back in a minute. Let me get my camera set up and I'm going to show you how we're going to put a patina on here and really, really bring out the detail. And that's going to be a gem of a ring. So let me go get my camera set up over here and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got it polished to a high luster. Polished to a very high luster. Very high luster, polished absolutely gorgeous ring absolutely gorgeous ring so now we're going to put an antique finish or a patina finish on it as you would so i got i got some water in here i got about eh, about that much water in here put it in the microwave i'm going to heat up the water 
typically you use this liver of sulfur antique finish as you will or whatever uh, for on silver but I found that it works it works good on copper also you're gonna get the same effect on copper it's really gonna bring out that detail so uh, I, what, I, what I do is I the reason I polished it is because when I put the antique finish on it it's gonna turn black then I'm gonna take off the antique finish I'm, t I'm taking it off the high spots I'm gonna take off the high spots and when I'm doing so I'll leave the antique finish in the background and the high spots will be sticking up and that'll, that'll be the pop because I polished it underneath the antique finish the high spots will be real nice and polished once I take the rag and start polishing so it'll really look nice you'll have the antique finish in the background which will really bring out all the detail of those Mayan calendar emblems icons those Mayan calendar icons and I'll leave the, 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 the highly polished ridges sticking up. So when I polish it, it's going to look absolutely gorgeous. With the antique finish in the background, polished on the top, the high spots, you'll be able to see each and every one of the detail on each and every one of those Mayan calendar icons. So what I'm going to do is before I put it in the liver sulfur, I'm going to heat it up just a little bit. Take a little, add a little bit of liver sulfur there. That's enough. Stir it up a little bit. I'm going to take this absolutely gorgeous ring that I polished and make it look extremely ugly. <laughs> so I'm just going to heat this ring up just a little bit. Just hit it with the torch just a little bit just to heat it up. Boom. That's it. Just like that. That's all. It'll really make that It'll really make that liver of sulfur stick. Just heat it up a little bit. I got the, the water's heated, so we're going to stir it up. I'm going to leave it in here for about two minutes just to give you an idea of what it's going to look like. Uh, see, see how black it's gotten? See how that highly polished, beautiful ring is now absolutely black and ugly. You can't see anything, but you wait till you see the finish on this. This is going to look absolutely gorgeous. Deep sandpaper. Polishing. Shining. Okay. All right, let's take a look at it and see what it looks like. Oh, yeah. That's all you need to do. See there? It's absolutely black. And put it there and we're gonna let it dry it'll take about a minute for it to dry completely especially here in las vegas right now out here in the garage it's about 100 degrees out here so it won't take long for that to dry we want it to dry completely i'm going to take it over here i'll be back in 30 seconds okay there it is right there Okay, looks like it's dried up, dried pretty good. Look how look how dark that, look how dark that ring is. Look how dark that finish. You can't, you don't even know what it is yet. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, wipe it off. Cloth here. Okay. That's what it looks like now. Okay. First thing I'm doing is I'm just going to take a piece of steel wool and I'm going to go along the inside of the ring with the steel wool just a couple times, just knock off the high spots. That's all I did, knocking off the high spots. Now, 
I'm gonna take this ring and I'm gonna go on the cut edge. I'm gonna, I got 2000 grit sandpaper here. I'm gonna take the antique finish off the cut edge so it really sparkles, really shines. See there how I got the antique finish off there now? So it's gonna really shine on there. And I'm gonna take the steel wall and I'm gonna go over the reeded edge. Okay, do the same thing on the reeded side. Try to get as much of that antique finish off the reeded side so the reeded side will shine right along with the, the cut side. There, see, I've taken the antique finish off the reeded side. I've taken the antique finish off the cut side so it really shines. I've taken the steel wool and knocked off the high, high, high edges on the inside of the ring. Now we're going to do the outside. This is where, where, where you really got to pay attention to what you're doing. You don't want to take off all the antique finish. I'm going to take it. I got these sanding blocks from my, from my local nail salon. That one says remove ridges. That's what we're going to do is remove these ridges. So I'm just going to hit that. I'll show you as I'm going along here. I'm just going to go around and hit it one time first. Show you what I'm doing. Just knocking off the high spots on the ring, leaving the antique or, or whatever antique or patina finish in the background. I'm gonna make sure I hit all the high spots. So the high spots are all detailed with the antique finish in the background. And get all those Mayan calendar icons popping. Okay. That's what it's looking like so far. Beautiful, just beautiful. Now we get like a polishing cloth. Now I'm gonna polish those high spots with just a, a regular jewelry polishing cloth. No, don't forget we got the antique finish now in the background and we got the high spots that I took off, I'm now polishing them. And it was already polished underneath the antique finish, so it's really gonna pop now. You're gonna, you're gonna really love this ring here. In just a second, you're gonna see the finished product. Polishing the cut side. Polishing the reeded side. There we go. There's the finished product. It's polished there on the cut side. Look how beautiful that is. Polished there on the cut side. Polished there on the inside where you put your polished on the reeded edge. Look how those. Look how those Emmas pop right now with the antique finish in the background polished on the outside. Absolutely gorgeous ring. So there you go. That's a done deal. I'm going to put what they call Renaissance, Renaissance wax. It'll, it'll be a little bit of a wax that I'm going to put over the top of this. Now, just like this. I'm gonna rub it on the outside. It's it's what it, it's just what it sounds like. Renaissance wax. It gives it the Renaissance look, the antique look. I'm gonna polish, wipe that on there. Let it dry. Let it dry for a few seconds. And then I'm gonna. Wipe it off here. 
I'm not going to wipe it off. I'm just going to very lightly, very, very lightly just wipe off the excess. That's all I did. I'm just wiping off the excess. That's all I did was wipe off the excess. Now I'm going to let it dry. Let it dry for a few seconds. And this is the finished product right now. Polish that. Oh yeah, beautiful, beautiful ring. Okay, look how beautiful. Uh, words can't explain how beautiful this ring is. Let me see if I can get some good pictures up here for you. Look how gorgeous that ring is. Look how gorgeous that ring is. Perfect shape to it. Beautiful, beautiful ring. And there it is. Ready to ship out to some happy customer, okay? All right. Let's see here, okay? Let's go right back over here. Okay. This is Boss Dog here from Boss Dog Corners. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe, like, hit the notification button for future videos. Uh, I'm not going to be a lot of, doing a lot of coin roll hunting. Coin, coins are hard to get right now. I went out to my local banks yesterday. I couldn't get any coins at all. So I'm going to start making videos of some of the rings I've been making. So I'm going to put this, I'm going to leave a link in the description box below to my Etsy shop where you'll be able to go on there and order this Mayan calendar one ounce pure copper, 0.999% pure copper round. Absolutely gorgeous ring. And I hope you like it. And don't, don't forget to hit the notification button. If you don't hit the notification button, you will not be notified of any of my future videos. So anyway, this is Boss Dog Coin Rings here today. I hope you like this video. And thanks for watching. Have a good day.